Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. This is our first video, so let's do a quick introduction first. My name is James. My wife Jess and I, we run a small engine shop in Jonesboro, Arkansas called Merritt Small Engines. We offer repairs, service, and parts for most lawn and garden items and most ATVs and UTVs. I'll put the link to our Facebook page in the description and you're more than welcome to check that out. Also, if you don't mind giving us a like, maybe even subscribing, uh, we plan to keep this up, have some great informative videos for you. Now, let's get to what you all came here for. This is a 2017 Ranger XP with 3,434 miles. Let's take a look at the tools you'll need for this job. We're just playing, guys. Don't burn your ride. Uh, if all else fails, bring it to us. We'll fix it for you. Uh, here's the actual list of tools that you will need. The tools you'll need for this job will be a half inch drive ratchet, a 3 8 inch drive ratchet, a six inch 3 8 drive extension, a eight millimeter 3 8 drive socket, 10 millimeter 3 8 drive socket, a 15 millimeter half inch drive socket, a 21 millimeter half inch drive socket, and a 7 8 half inch drive socket, 3 8 inch open end wrench, a flat screwdriver, a blower for your air hose, a optional a half inch impact. Uh, you'll also need Polaris clutch puller number 287. 2085. Okay, so today we're working on a 2017 Polaris Ranger 1000. Uh, customer complained that it was stuck in neutral. Uh, about the engine running, it will shift through the gears. Start the engine, which doesn't want to stay started all the time. This problem is commonly caused by is the clutch is not releasing the belt. Uh, in most cases, it will try to pull just when you're sitting there. Uh, most of the time, it's just difficult to shift. So let's pop this cover off. It looks like uh, eight millimeter bolts. I got ten or twelve of them. We'll get that off, and we'll be right back. There ended up being eight bolts in this cover. Uh, also realized there's a grease alamite right here that will have to be removed. It's a 3 8 use 3 8 wrench, uh, right-handed thread. Uh, just take it easy because you don't want to damage those threads and then you don't want to get dirt down into the, the hole there. Uh, let's remove this cover and see what we got. So, as suspected, uh, there is quite a bit of wear on the belt there. It feels like there may be a groove in the inside the clutch. <clears throat> when I Wrench, 
clutch moves as suspected. So we're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna remove this clutch. Uh, get that belt off there and uh, check a couple of things out. We'll be right back. We're inspecting the belt housing cover for debris and dust. As you can see, there's quite a bit in there. Uh, we'll have to figure out how that's getting in, possibly replace the seal around the housing. Uh, we're gonna take an air hose. We're gonna blow out the clutch housing and the clutch while it's still on the unit. You'll wanna wear safety glasses and a mask while you do this because it can get, get pretty nasty as you can see. After loosening the bolt by your preferred method, remove the primary clutch bolt. The washer and a shoulder spacer there. Use our Polaris primary clutch puller. Okay, we got our puller in here. Um, a couple of different methods. First. Now, I've always used an impact. I've never had a problem out of it. Some people are totally against it. Take a hammer, and you don't, you're not swinging for the fences here. Still nothing. Let's see. Clutches off. And let me read your pull. There's the primer. Then the belt. Sometimes wants to be there we go. We'll uh we'll check the secondary clutch. But we'll probably do that at a later at a later time. Okay, so on the secondary it's a uh, Hold it, so give me just a second. Okay. 
Now it's time to inspect the primary clutch. Uh, for full inspection, Rocky Mountain ATV and Motorcycle has a very good video on clutch inspection. I'll provide a link in the description. Uh, this clutch has quite a bit of dust and debris still in it. Uh, it does, however, have a groove worn on the clutch face, uh, which usually requires a clutch replacement uh, due to performance. It won't properly release the belt and grab the belt. So we're going to get approval from the customer to probably replace this clutch. Normally it's this bearing that's where the belt sits while the clutch is spinning and it's and you're at a stop in neutral. It will allow the belt to sit still while the clutch spins. Uh, the bearing on this one is actually still good, so that gives an even more concern to the groove in the clutch face. This belt has quite a bit of wear around the edges that you can see. You can almost see the cords in the belt. Um, you can also see on the cogs where it's got some wear. Uh, then you can see dust from the belt itself inside the cogs. Now for the secondary clutch. So you want to check in here. No grooves in the secondary clutch. We'll clean that up. I think that's going to be good. What we'll do, this was about 5 o'clock on Friday afternoon. Uh, Monday morning, we'll get in touch with the customer. We'll get approval for the repair. Uh, we'll get the parts ordered. We'll do part two of this video. When the parts come in, we'll put this thing back together and test it out. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, everybody have a great weekend. Thanks.